Hi, Forester Dragons. I have a story to read you. Uh, we're going to read about a walk it in my pocket by Dr. Seuss because you're going to be making a little kind of walk it on your own or a little furry creature. So let's go ahead and get started. See what stirs your imagination. There's a walk it in my pocket and a findo in my window. There's a nookcase in my bookcase. Did you ever have the feeling there's a wasket in your basket or a neuro in your bureau or a wasit in your closet? Sometimes I feel quite certain there's a jerton in the curtain. Sometimes I have the feeling there's a zock behind the clock. And that zelf up on the shelf, I have talked to him myself. That's the kind of house I live in. There's a mink in the sink and a zamp in the lamp, and they're rather nice, I think. Some of them are very friendly, like the yacht in the pot, but the yacht, that yachtle in the bottle, some are friendly and some are not. I like the zable on the table and the gear under the chair, but the bofa on the sofa, well, I wish he wasn't there. All those nubbards in the cupboards, they're good fun to have about. But that toothbrush on my toothbrush, him I could do without. The only one I'm really scared of is that vug under the rug. And that quidney up the chimney, I don't like him, not at all. And it makes me sort of nervous when the zoll scoots down the hall. But the yeps on the steps, they're great fun to have around. And so are many, many other friends that I have found. Like the teller and the neller and the geller and the deller and the beller and the weller and the zeller in the cellar. And the geeling on the ceiling and the zower in my shower. And the Zillow on my pillow. I don't care if you believe it. That's the kind of house I live in. And I hope we never leave it. Well, I hope you saw lots of fun creatures. Because we're going to get started on ours in a little bit. And we'll start that video next. Thanks for joining me for a Walk It in the Pocket by Dr. Seuss.